Mega Golf. Dmitry Rybakov was born in Paris, France in 1921 to Russian parents. He began working with cameras at age 11 and started his own camera repair business. He spoke Russian, English, German, and French and enrolled at the Sarbonne to study engineering and physics before being appointed chief engineer of radio control in Lyon. In 1943, he was taken prisoner by invading Germany and drafted into the occupied French army. There, Rybakov was assigned to a Munich radio clinic where, when he wasn't repairing Nazi radios, he spent a good deal of his time fixing short wave sets for customers to listen to the BBC. As the war was ending, Rybakov stole a camera and made his way back to newly liberated Paris, where he began picking up work as a photographer for tabloids, specializing in color. He designed and patented the first electronic flash tube and the widely known Rybakov colorimeter in Europe. With his wife, Ada Negler, he joined the world's first Aqualung scuba diving club in Cannes, France in the late 1940s. He soon started developing underwater cameras, lighting units, and diver vehicles. During this period, he developed the first underwater electronic flash unit for which he received Swiss and French patents. In 1950, he made some of the earliest color undersea films shot by a sports diver with his continuous light source movie torpedo and followed this early success with several more underwater color movies. His in-color documentary film, Coral Palace, was selected for the Scientific Film Award at the International Film Festival in Cannes in 1952. He developed and manufactured the Pegasus underwater scooter, a towing device and flying platform to shoot underwater movies from. The Pegasus drew the attention of the U.S. Navy, who ordered several of them. To make deep water exploration possible, Rybakov then devised the remote control Pegasus. It was quickly taken up by scientists, who sent it under glaciers to explore fossil life, and by oil drillers, who sent it to the ocean floor. Rybakov held more than 60 patents and worked on corrective lenses for underwater photography. He developed a reputation for detailed work and his cameras became highly sought after by early underwater filmmakers and photographers. He and Otta moved to Florida in 1960 where he worked on secret projects for the U.S. Navy. He died in Florida in 1997. Dmitry Rybakov's achievements in underwater technology are kept alive through the Rybakov Nigler Foundation. Dmitry was a true pioneer of underwater technology, and we will continue to honor his legacy in the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. <laughs>